this is Lisa Flynn with True to Docs. And I've been checking around on the internet recently and I keep seeing this new trend called pet shaming. I don't know if you've seen it or not. It's actually kind of funny. Some of these um, the people are taking pictures of their dogs, hanging a sign on them, declaring their latest behavioral issue. And some of them really are kind of cute, you know, especially the puppy ones. I ran into one the other day that was of a Boston Terrier that said, my unstoppable staring makes house guests uncomfortable. So really some of them are kind of funny. But as I was looking around, I actually ran into an article by um, Lori Shaw. She is a contributor for the Ann, for AnnArbor.com. And she wrote a recent article entitled, Is the Fun Trend of Dog Shaming a Stark Illustration of Their Inadequate Lives? You know, and that really gives us something to think about because an awful lot of these behavioral issues that these pets are being shamed for, such as running away, being destructive in the house, incessant barking and so forth, a lot of these issues could be fixed with just more exercise, proper training, and of course more interactions with the dog's owner. So it really makes us think about whether or not we're using this new trend of pet shaming as an excuse for us not being responsible for our dogs. You know, it brings to mind the whole Marley and me thing too. As a trainer, I have an awful lot of people that would call me saying, well, my dog needs training, but I'm really not sure he can be trained because he's just like Marley. Well, <laughs> Marley and me is not a book or a movie I've ever seen. And if you ask any dog trainer who has seen it, their opinion, they will tell you that they're just frustrated by it because all of the behavior problems that poor Marley display could have been fixed. So when we make that excuse for our pets, it really is us not taking responsibility and doing what we need to do to give our dogs what they need. You know, and Ms. Shaw mentions, it's very true, she says that sadly, behavioral problems are cited as one of the leading causes of relinquishment, rehoming, and even euthanasia for our companion animals. So really putting this some food for thought. Um, you can check out Lori Shaw's article at AnnArbor.com. I'm going to put a link to that article in the description below this video. But I really am really interested in getting your feedback. What are your thoughts about this whole pet shaming and dog shaming phenomenon? Please comment and share below.